Hi there. The circuit lets you load up your own custom samples. However, at least as of firmware 1.4, playing melodies with these samples is almost impossible because you only have the pitch knob to control the pitch of a sample. You can't select absolute pitched notes. Now I've already shown in other clips on this channel how to play melodies with the circuit using a note template with the circuit standalone and using an external MIDI keyboard or keyboard on an iPhone or iPad screen using a Limor template or app. And there are links to these clips below. What's new this time around is that I've updated the Limor app so that you don't need to use an external MIDI keyboard or even touch the iPhone or iPad screen. You can control everything through your circuit. The way the app works is that it will take MIDI out data from Synth 1 and send it back to the circuit as pitched data for drums 1, 2, 3, or 4. Let's start with a sample of a grand piano. The volume of synth 1 is lowered in the mixer, so all you're hearing is the sample. We'll bring that in later. The bottom octave is used to set which drum track you'll be controlling. On drum track 4 I've got tubular bells. Here's an overview of all the mappings in this app. You get two and a half octaves here in this example from C2 to A4 based on the scale that I'm using right now in my circuit. The bottom row lets you select which drum track you're controlling, and the top right button is used to stop the app from triggering any drums. Beside playing live, you can use any pre-recorded sequences as well. You can change which drum track you're controlling as the sequence is playing live. Since we're using Synth 1 as a control track, you can always bring the volume of that synth back up and have sort of like a dual oscillator sample and synth instrument playing back. You can obviously mess around with the synth parameters as it plays back. You can make some pretty interesting sounds combining synth and sample voices. Similar to what we saw before, you can always turn off the synth track and continue playing live with both the synth and the sample synchronized together. I'll go ahead and lower the volume of the synth track and show you around a little bit more. I'll go ahead and select the piano, drum two. So this is my basic major octave because that's the scale that I have set on my circuit, all the way from C2 to A4. And I can go ahead and play that and change the drums, change my samples. And up until now we've been playing in the major scale, but really any scale that the circuit supports will work as well. For example, I'll go ahead and change the scale from major to minor. Not only that, key control also works with this app as well. For example, I'll change from C to F, so from C minor to F minor. Beside that, full chromatic mode works as well. Uh, of course, only in the octaves supported by the pitching of the samples, which is C2 to A4. So that's it. There's a link to download this app in the description. If you like it, click like or subscribe. Would love to hear your comments for ideas for improving this. Thanks for watching.